Hello everybody and welcome to One Player Today. I cannot believe we've never covered this game on the channel. It, it seems to be so popular um, and must be um, one of the best solo games I've ever come across. I, I, again, I, I'm just not sure how it's escaped me. I've only just found out about this guys, but get ready. Um, you're gonna be blown away. <laughs> One of the greatest things about this game, and check eBay, check Amazon, it's everywhere, I swear. And you can get it in so many different versions. Um, even just a, a trip to my, my local thrift shop. Um, just like so many different options. And so a really easy setup, and I'll, I'll show you how this goes. This is it, that's all there is to it. Super simple, there's this deck of, I think there's like 50, maybe 50 something cards in here. You lay them out in this kind of strange configuration, um, and then it, it's our goal to get, I guess, to put them all in order um, based on the colors and the symbols on them um, in the top left. And then handily, look, you can even switch them around. And again, they're still, it's kind of like a, yeah, almost like a flip city vibe. Like you can, you can kind of play it either way, upside down or right way up. Don't think there's any difference necessarily, but maybe there's some variations I don't know about yet. And I picked up this really cool um, Felix the Cat version. It must have just been a reskin or something. But essentially what we can do is start moving these cards around um, based on their colors. Um, and and we, we can just start playing right away. Um, you know, we, we put a black six on, a, on this red uh, seven kind of triangle shape. And, uh, and again, there's other variations you can play. So I'm going to take... Um, usually I think you take a, a card at a time or you can take three cards if you want it to be a bit difficult and then you can discard it if you can't place it down something like that anyway and then you, we've got a we've got Jack here um, that's what the J stands for um, I'm guessing Jack is maybe the guy who invented the game yeah just this I don't know it's, it's, it's I've been playing this kind of on and off um, over the past few days uh, again while I've been kind of locked up uh, and uh, suffering from the old uh, well not suffering thankfully but uh but, you know, suffering from the old quarantine, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, it's just been fantastic. I mean, every time I'm getting a different result. Mostly, I'll be honest, um, not winning. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just really interesting, uh, f you know, really interesting game. And um, <laughs> it doesn't look like we're getting uh, getting much much luck um, at the moment. But, uh, you know, so basically, we're going to peel through this, um, peel through this entire, I suppose you could call it a deck. Although you don't really get to hold on to the cards per se. It's really rather just like put them down um, as fast as you can. I definitely missed that one and that's embarrassing um, because that was, uh, <laughs> that could have been pretty helpful, I think. Um, see, we can put this black three. And then once we've got this K, which I believe, um, if, I'm, if I'm right in saying this stands for King. So maybe Jack, Jack, maybe King was the, the last name. I'm not sure. But anyway, we, we can put that in the empty space. Um, which will help us turn over more cards. And then when we find one of these, these Allen cards, um, we can put this down at the top up here and then start moving um, other cards up to it. So if I move this down just slightly, we can see our progress. And um, we've got one Allen um, up at the top. And, um, and then we can, you know, every time we, we move a card off one of the piles, we can then flip it over again um, and reveal more cards. It's, it's a quite a fascinating system. Um, and I, again, I'm so surprised I've just never come across it. Um, we can put a two down here. Oh no, we can we can start our twos, uh, two, the the, the uh, little heart, pointy heart things up here. We can start that right off. See, we've got another we've got another king over here. Um, that's not going to help us at the moment. Um, we've got a four that we could probably no, we can't do anything with that because there's no uh, none of the red fives. But here's another red Allen card. So we've got a red pointy. I think this is a rhombus, maybe a, the Allen of rhombus up there. Um, it's just another nine, um, and I mean, as I said, like be stumbling upon a, a Felix the Cat reskin. I mean, I think they came up with a tiny epic Felix the Cat, but I can't it, something like that. But yeah, it was one of those one of those reskins, and it was just fantastic. So this to be able to find you know this this in a, in a, Fe, a Felix reskin as well is just just brilliant. Um, here we've got a three that can go down here, that's nice, and a two that can actually go on top of that. And then we've got another king, okay, uh, very good. And then, oh, we've got the, the black Allen, uh, not sure what that is, but we'll put it there. 
Um, oh, and then our two can come off this pile, and our three off the, uh, the I suppose this, you could call this like a discard, maybe. Um, and we can put that there. This is getting towards the end, you know, the, the, mi the mid-game here. We're, uh, we're, we're kind of... We're fighting for our lives a little bit. We've got, we've got. Usually, you can take one run through this deck, but uh, I'm going to take two, maybe even three, um, because you know it's my, it's one of my first. It's, it's only I've only played this a few times. I'm going to go easy on myself, kind of a beginner here, if you will. Um, we're going to move this nine over here that I didn't spot earlier, um, because I'm, I'm, I'm so wrapped up in, you know, just kind of how, how brilliant this system is that I just I keep forgetting the rules, to be honest. Um, we don't have anything to do from here, although we can pull this card and find it's a seven. We'll go on there and place it on our, uh, I'm going to, again, I'm naming it the discard, but, uh, you know, uh, I'll have to check the rules again to see what it's actually called. Um, we've got a two to go up here, so that's great, and then it can be joined by a three. Um, we can move, um, we can move stuff around if we want to, but it's not, not really an option to yet. We've got a black ten and another jack here. Um, which isn't going to be useful for us whatsoever. Um, we've got a red nine, which isn't going to go anywhere. Have I missed something else? I'm not sure. Another black jack. Oh, black jack. Interesting. I wonder if there's a, if there's another black jack. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. A, that seems to be a familiar. Maybe there's another game or something. Isn't that what they play in casinos? I think. We need a red 10, which we have here. We can move that. We've got a black king there down here. I was hoping to find some sort of uh, queen because we we were missing a uh, we're missing a, the Q cards here. Oh, we've got one there, but we need another one really. Seven can go there, which will be great. Um, we've got a black six just sitting, but we've got a red six that popped out, and we'll do that. This will be good. We've got a, a, a three of um, of hearts there, and a four. Um, and that's grand. And then here we are, the black queen. I'm not sure if this like confusion is part of the game. You know, if this is maybe we place this upside down again. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure on the the real specifics of it, but I think I'm getting the general rules down as we go. Um, but here we go. We've got um, there, and we'll go to that, and we've got another nine. So that's pretty bad. We've got a, oh look at this a. a, a a jack of rhombuses, um, and we can move this over here. Um, we can unlock this eight um, again, which has come up upside down. It's almost like tarot. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's an opposite of an eight, which I think if you flip an eight, it does become another eight. So that's lucky because an eight is what we need. Um, we do need a, a red seven um, to go there so we can move our, our six on top. But we don't have that just yet. We've got an, a red eight here and a red 10 and maybe a black f yes a pointy and a pointy and uh other pointies maybe no we've still not got enough pointies to go do we have anything else to do i'm, I'm not sure that we do i think this means we lose i'm not sh i'm not certain but I, I think this is not the preferred end game um, oh wait, we've got a five that can go onto the six. Of course we do. And then a, oh, and then a, a jack, um, a love jack, and a f there. And then what else have we got? Um, I don't think we've got anything. And, uh, and I don't think we're going to be able to move. Yes, I don't think this is the ideal end game. Apparently, you can get all of the uh, uh, the king cards on top of all the four piles at the end. Uh, but we haven't been able to do that this time. Uh, guys, uh, for those of you who have made it this far, uh, I, I can't keep this up much longer. Um, happy April Fools. <laughs> um, thanks so much for watching. If you have uh, managed to get to the end of me playing 11 minutes of Solitaire. Um, <laughs> I will, um, there will be another video out later on today um, with actual gameplay. Um, but for those of you, as I said, who stuck around, um, <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I, I think I'm... I'm far funnier than maybe I actually am. Uh, this is going to be it from me. Um, thanks so much for watching again and, uh, and sticking through. Um, again, if you have made it this far, uh, I'm so sorry. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't know. I've got nothing else to say. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to drop me a like. Uh, you know, obviously, this is uh, probably one of the most epic gaming sessions uh, we've had together on the channel. And uh, yeah, hit subscribe. And I will see you later.